Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Buzzer here and I'm at Bonita Bay. So Naples, Florida. Um, I've been over in the States, I've been to the PGA show and whilst I was there I was shown how to fit Adele putters. So quite excited about the process. Um, if you're somebody that's watched the channel, you'll know I've had an Adele in for quite a while now. I think I was fit in August 2015. So the putter was fit quite a while ago and that putter has remained in the bag. And if you were watching the channel before that, you'll know that wasn't the case. I was really struggling and always switching out putters. And the reason is, is I'd never been custom fit before. And you would be surprised at how the custom fitting of a putter can really alter two things, how you align and what your distance control is like. So those were two things that I was horrendous at. So with the Adele fitting system, it can actually target both of those things. So the head shape makes a massive difference on how you align. Rule of thumb, if you've got a mallet, you're gonna aim it or it's gonna be biased more to the right, a blade more to the left. So what that means, if you're somebody, let's say that aims to the right, if you go out and buy a mallet, that's likely to negatively affect your alignment. So the bladed putter would be better for you. Even if you're kind of going through the shop and you go, well, I like the look of the mallet, like I say, the blade is going to be more functional. The actual hosel systems can also have a massive impact. So again, if you're somebody that aims to the right, having offset is going to help you align that putter straight. If you're somebody that aims to the left, the offset's actually going to be detrimental. You want a shaft that's far more level with the putter face, if not a little bit of onset. The other one, and this is the key one with Adele, and it's a, a massive, massive plus for this brand, is the alignment. So the amount of lines and where the lines are situated on the putter have a massive impact on not only how you align, how you deliver the club. So rule of thumb, the more lines you have, the more left you're gonna aim. So again, using the person that aims to the right, they're gonna want loads of lines. If you're somebody that aims or has a bias to aim to the left, having no lines is, is good. And this is sometimes the reason why you'll, you'll see somebody maybe at your local club that putts well with maybe an old putter that's kind of got none of these fancy alignment systems. And it's because they've probably got a slight bias to the left. So if they go and put a putter in the bag that's got all of these lines that are perceived to help, it will actually be a hindrance. Adele is great because you can put the lines in very different ways. Do you mean the, the amount of combinations they've got? Do you mean it's in the, I think it's in the thousands, I think it's even in the millions once you factor in all of these different combinations. So where the lines are situated, so lines on the back of the putter tend to have a bigger effect and it can affect how you deliver the loft. So again, if you're somebody that adds loft, having, weight, having lines on the front is likely to encourage you to put your focus into the front and it will encourage you to deliver less loft. So again, this is where this kit is so important. You know, I, I've used this firsthand, so I'm a massive fan of Adele. But even if you're not gonna use Adele, trying to take these concepts and, and trying to apply it on the next part of your bike can have huge effect on your performance. So that's the alignment end of it. The other bit that I find is really, really beneficial is they've got these Optivive weights. So these weights can be pushed down the shaft. So you will, uh, if we put this one, so you see these can be screwed and they can be pushed down the shaft. And by altering the weight, how far the weight is pushed down can have an effect on how you deliver the putter the actual head weight as well. So if we take me for example, I tend to accelerate my putter through. So I'm not that metronome, I'm not that consistent pendulum motion. And you'll find I'm in the majority. So I know most people try and get that smooth tempo, that metronome -y sort of feeling. But what you'll actually find is when you test people, more people have a little acceleration. So if you're somebody that accelerates, having a bit more weight into the handle can actually really benefit you. So like I say, if you use mine for example, I've got quite a heavy weight slightly underneath my right hand. What it tends to do 
is let me deliver that putter head far more with the grip and I deliver the putter better and my distance control is just far superior to when I'm using a putter without that weight. So it's a great system. Um, everything I've said today is more of like a stereotypical thing. So what you'll find is sometimes, although the line should encourage somebody to do something, your body almost fights it and rejects it. So it, whereas it should make you aim left, it makes you aim more right. So again, it shows you the importance of having the fit. Use what I've said today as kind of a benchmark, but having a fit, having somebody really check your putting. So uh, if you're looking at buying a new putter, having somebody you trust, whether that be your pro or a friend, looking behind you and when you're trying these different models, saying which one do you actually align better? Because I can assure you the putter that you align better is gonna be your friend it's gonna help you hold more putts rather than the one that you just pull off the shelf and go, well, I really like the look of that one. So I hope this video's helped. Like you can tell I'm quite passionate about this. I think, it, I think it's a great system. I think it's a great product, but it, you don't necessarily have to go into a Dell. But having the fit is kind of my take home message. So get some comments down below. Are you somebody that's been fitted for a putter? Are you somebody that's been fitted for driver irons and then never even considered the putter? That's the one I get the most. Because, uh, like I said, it seems to be, wow, well, we don't need to be fitted for putter. Whereas, like I'm saying here, putter's probably more important to get fit rather than not. So, again, thanks for watching. Get some comments down below. Hope to catch you soon.